Okay, so uh, I have good news. So um, Taylor, who is working on the ecosystem side of the CNCF, he was kind of interested because this all of this makes really sense for end users too. So um, he wanted to join our meetings moving forward. Not today because we just talked yesterday, but like um, kind of, yeah. So I think it's really good for visibility as well. So we can find out what, um, what to do so the end users can find out about all, all of that. So I think that's that's probably going to be really good for us moving forward. Um, oh, and let me just share the agenda so you see that as well. Um, okay. So on terms of the glossary, we have a marketing plan that we need to ex sec uh, ex execute on. Um, so hopefully, we can start doing that. We have lots of ideas. Um, a few things that we did, we did have like the glossary stickers at KubeCon. That's one of the things that I asked if they could do that just because like it would be good to discover. Fun fact, it was gone in the first day, but I don't believe it was because the glossary was so popular. It's just because it looks like the CNCF logo. <laughs> it's, I think people just grabbed that thing because they, they have the CNCF logo, which is huge. And the glossary uh, one was like tiny. And I think people like, not tiny, but reg regular size because the other ones are huge, right? And I think people just like the smaller ones better. So hopefully uh, at some point they're gonna be like, oh, glossary, what is it? And just check it out. So at least that's what I hope. Uh, and so I'll, I'm gonna ask them if they can do that in, in Amsterdam as well, because probably like a good way of, you know, getting the word out. Um, the cloud native learning journey is stuck. So I'm trying to revive that again, because we have um, that, I think it's a great idea, and I would love to have that by KubeCon EU. Um, and uh, Richard, uh, Simon, and I will submit a KubeCon talk, like a panel discussion about all these different resources. So hopefully we can, like if that gets accepted, that would be great, because we're going to talk about how all these things are important for end users and so on and where they are, how to find it and so on. And it would be amazing if we get accepted and we, if we also would have that thing live because then we could point pe people to a page where you find everything together. Uh, so fingers crossed. I think it's very easily done because it's not like a huge heavy lift to do it because it's not like creating something new. It's just like linking everything we have. So it shouldn't take that long. Like if we put our minds to it, it should be fairly quickly. Um, and then update on the summary table. So this is like what we've been actively working on. Oh, it's live. Okay, good, 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 good. So uh, uh, we had that little, so that like for those who haven't seen it, it's live. Like now we need end users to actually, uh, not end users, uh, projects to populate all that. That information that is here is coming from it's, be, it's being pulled from the landscape YAML and the, the project's GitHub repository. Uh, so we need all projects to create a PR uh, so they can kind of populate all that. But we're waiting to kind of reach out to CNCF and send it to the maintainers. So we actually have like a little, um, yeah, what is this? And I think like so I showed it someone and they did not see, they was like, oh, this is crazy. That's like, like all these projects are it's like, it's not if you look like it's not worth it. Uh, it's not useful if you don't filter, right? <laughs> it's, it's just it's just another landscape, right? It's massive, and um, so uh, yeah, it made it bold and blue. I hope that is visible, right? I know we'll uh, see. Catherine, we are seeing um, a blank screen. I think uh, screen. Blank screen? Yeah. Is it, can everyone see the screen? I can I'm, see I'm only seeing a black screen. Okay, uh, then I, I should rejoin maybe. I can see. Okay. Okay. So I, I'm dropping and rejoining. The, yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So that should be basically ready to go. Uh, so reaching out to maintainers that's ongoing. So I went, I mean, to, not to all because it was some of them were really busy, but at KubeCon, Whenever I had time, I went to from Project Pavilion uh, kiosk to kiosk in the Project Pavilion, and kind of asked um, maintainers to do that and send them the instructions. Some have done it, most have didn't. So it's like, oh, God. 
<laughs> so difficult to get. But some, like I think, like three or so, have actually submitted a PR. Um, next one is maintainer mailing list. Uh, so I'm going to ask uh, Chris and Amy if that's something that they can do. I know they're very protective with the maintainer lists, but I feel like it's a strong. Like, I mean, it is like a good and important thing. So I'm fairly confident that they will do it. I was thinking the TOC because they are like, and that's something that you can just do as well. Uh, like we can do like we don't. I mean, we can actually send that email because I think that there are like important people there that you know, or people that know what are and maintainers as well. They're very involved in projects, so hopefully that will help as well. That's right. And I don't know. Um, I'm going to be doing the cert manager one with Ashley tomorrow. Um, oh, great, great. If um, if we videoed it, had a little bit of a conversation about what it's about. That would be a good thing to include maybe in some of the mailings that go out do you think uh, could that be useful if you had what if we videoed it and just explained what it is we're doing just sort of show how straightforward it is in terms of updating the data so yeah. i mean I, we can give it a go and just see what comes out if it's a useful asset to help promote and encourage others to do it then that's a great thing yeah so yeah i mean we can wait one more day like i mean like if you do like a video and then like just just if there's just like a youtube link you know like can yeah. be unlisted or something. something yeah yeah i mean i don't know like we never know people have different preferences so I, I think like the more options we offer them to learn about it or like kind of like the better right so yeah sure okay um, we'll do that any other things we can do to reach out Two projects that you can think of. Yeah, I think without the maintainer mailing list, uh, it, it will be absent, right? It wouldn't be complete. So uh, that will be the yeah, but like starting most point. People, yeah, a lot of people just ignore emails. So I'm yeah. not like super confident. I mean, the maintainer mailing list reach everyone. But not everyone will read it. So I, I think I think uh, the second part is if you have the names at least of the maintainers, we can do manual LinkedIn reach out and Twitter reach out or whatever. So the, I think the starting point is knowing who is who, and who is doing what and who to reach out. Then the rest is just operation. Could we raise an issue on the repo uh, for each project? Uh, we we could do that programmatically and at the maintainers of each project. So we're kind of we're we're creating the issue effectively to be closed off at some point. So there's something to assign the work against, and then um, we we have a way of notifying the maintainers kind of natively through GitHub. How would we identify who there is a maintainer? They won't necessarily, but there should be um, a code owners or a maintainers field on each GitHub oh. repo which we could oh. programmatically hoover up. It's it's not going to be a silver bullet. It's probably going to get a lot of stuff, but not everything, depending how maintained the repos are. It's in small projects, this will definitely work. Okay. But wouldn't it be a little bit guerrilla, you think? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm just uh, think, thinking thinking out loud. Yeah, I'm just thinking as a project maintainer. I mean, uh, getting this. Uh, they they get an ass and they ignore it. <laughs> they get ignored it anyhow. So yeah, I think it's, it's like, like, yeah, we, yeah. we need to go through several um, channels. Like if yes. this is to like like just sending an email and hoping that it will stick is definitely not. So I think like yeah would be good like because then it's like oh i got an email oh i got this you know like and then i don't know uh, i think easiest is the sending a public public tweet with tagging the project and everything because this community is going to be public they won't ignore it it will look bad if they ignore the community the project yeah yeah but how many like because we said like incubating and 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 graduated are the ones that we're really going to and then sandbox is like come on because there are too many it's like either you you do it or you're gonna be left behind kind of like thing, right? Um, but yeah. how many? Uh, I, I think we, we can, in all honesty, in two hours, we can do hundreds. Like if we go to it like a three people, uh, it's, it's not a huge effort, I think. If you have the list, that is the starting point. That is the easiest operation. Search, post, yeah, search, like the, post. The landscape has, yeah, the landscape has the, 
um, has all the Twitter information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If someone, someone want, like that's like that, because people do monitor the Twitter accounts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's gonna be public. It's not gonna be one on one. It's a, it's gonna be visible yeah. by everyone. So they won't ignore it. That's my assumption. Yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. I think that's a good. That's a really good start. And then we can see how far we go. And then like, if, you know, uh, so I think at some point when there's a critical mass, yeah. then you don't want to be left behind, right? Like, yeah, it's like right now it's like, oh, it's just empty. It's like, oh, I don't know. But once like, if you have like most of the projects included and yours is not included, that looks really bad. That's yeah. when the urgency starts, right? <laughs> what about what about also taking CNCF in this tweet? Yeah. Let's do that. Project handle and CNCF. Yeah, I, I do think there's probably value, though, um, in making sure sometimes it's, it's not just the message, but it's where the message comes from. And um, a great way to get buy-in from people is if they feel that this is a, a really legitimate or important thing. So I think maybe, um, um, maybe sending something to the TOC. A lot of people subscribe to the TOC list. And making the TOC aware of this, for example, could be could be yes. valuable. Um, and what you do is you establish this as a like a this isn't just another. Um, if people aren't exactly clear that this is a CNCF initiative, then they'll ignore it. So I'm just trying to think about how to do it so that we're not just like blasting people and saying you need to do this, but rather you know, I guess getting the tone right. And also making them see that this is a really important thing. It might be yeah. self. Yeah, I think I think we should for all of this, we should like, you know, like what we did with the email for the maintainers list, you know, like like I've been sending it to Richard and 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 Simon and we were like editing. So it's like, yeah, we should not none of this should be like a quick thing. Same thing with the tweet. Very few words. It has to be like right tone and so on. So I think like definitely we should not start doing it. We should kind of all agree this is yes. what we should say. These are not brush anything and then when we were happy with a tweet we just got copy paste copy paste copy paste with a exactly updated. yeah yeah yes so uh, yeah coming, coming from sales you, copy paste is your friend coming from me? sales coming from sales copy paste is your friend <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah i think like so basically in the next uh weeks our like uh, our task is basically to come up with all these things and then when we're happy with them just start the mailing the maintainer list we can do because I think like that's really I feel like we're we're in a good uh, place we can share it with the team as well uh, and maybe in, in the Slack channel I can add that um, and but I think that feels like pr a, like a pretty good start I feel good about I that agree. really I good agree. idea so yeah really good idea so thank you for that. Um, yeah, and then as mentioned, so we are going to submit a panel discussion. Like we should always kind of think about ways to kind of like stuff that we can, you know, like talk about because it's like there's always an audience. It's like, again, like one panel discussion, one talk will not make a difference. But if we can somehow ensure that at every KubeCon there is like something about all these resources, at some point, I think it may, will make a difference com com uh, combined with all the other things that we're doing. So, um, yeah. If you have uh, other ideas as well, yeah. Uh, Katie, may I join this panel, if possible? I think we're five. Let me see. No, we're five. What's the maximum? What's the maximum? We're four. I think maybe we're five. Yeah. So I think we're no, we're four right right now. Yes, because it's. Anyways, like, if there if there's an opening, please give me in mind. I think I think so. I think it's five the maximum, right? Yeah. Let me check. Uh, I'll okay. get back to you. Because Danielle okay. from the cartographers group is also on it. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure it's five. So let me get back to you. Okay, this is okay. for you. Yeah, uh, I had a chat with Libby and Christy. They're super interested. They see the value. They would like to make this a reality, uh, and uh, they will support. That's what they said. This is a good site. Uh, I pinged them. They said they have an internal meeting uh, this week, and they will get back to me as soon as possible. Next week is like the when we get the news. But something else I asked to them is, uh, Kater, maybe this could be a new thread that I forgot to add, uh, a speed dating event in, in KubeCon Amsterdam, where project maintainers are owners, like in the scope of this 
presentation idea, take the stage 15 minutes, talk about their project, stand down. Talk about the project, stand down. And in a day, like tens of projects taking stage uh, with a, like a speed dating event in a room, people come in and leave per interest in the project. Uh, so they quite like the idea and we might be extending the video and introduction and the glossary idea to that room where we can promote it further in the speed dating mm -hmm. event. This is what we do. Do you want to give the information as fast as possible in the brief, briefest manner as possible? And mm -hmm. we will have a session, hopefully. Okay, so that would be like, like, a, like a real session and it would have yes. like but it would be several so we can accommodate all projects or it would be like a different yeah there will be different like 15 minutes each uh three mm -hmm. hours every day if you call six hours okay. okay okay so we will we will accommodate like what 24 30 projects a day max yeah. so two days yeah. 60 projects which will be quite good i will say and i will mm -hmm. definitely spend time in that room to hear about these projects I don't know what, if anyone has any ideas. If this, if you find this is a good idea, I would love to hear feedback. No, I think it's a great idea, especially if we kind of bundle them together so they make yeah. all sense. You know, like they're yeah. all like, oh, I'm interested in databases. Here are like all the pitches about. So, right, like of all the data, like one hour is gone, the next hour is going to be all database stuff. Exactly. Right? So it's like exactly. Going and that is check the point. That out. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Per interest group, are we like going to fill the room? Yeah. Yeah, and with 60% uh, of KubeCon attendees always being newbies, that yeah. should be actually a standard, you know, because there's enough people always. Right? Exactly, and, and I feel like these three, four things, summary table, glossary, uh, the video, and the speed dating event really bundles well together. So we can spread the word real good in this kind of session. Great. Um, good. And then I potentially have a new project that someone is interested in working on, and that is improving the UX of the landscape because it's so massive and making it in a way so it's digestible because it's completely out of control. And yeah. So making it more like, you know, interactive where you kind of see like the layers first and then you zoom in, you see things and then you kind of like, instead of like seeing everything at the same time, you kind of understand, oh, these are the stack layers. Like I'm interested in this, like zoom in. And then the logos you would see when you kind of see a specific section versus seeing all the logos at the same time, which is very overwhelming. So um, someone is interesting on working on that, but uh, doesn't have time right away. And I know someone in the CNCF who was interested who has a background in UX and was like, oh, he'd love to support that where possible. So well, very much needed project as well. Um, anything else? I think that's all we had. I think we're, yeah. Like main thing is getting the summary table out there and then some of the marketing things to get the word out. I think that's kind of our, okay, cool. And then some of the homework with the tweets and stuff. So we'll be in touch, um, just sending those probably in the um, Slack channel, business value Slack channel, and kind of like we can collaborate in there and kind of see like, make sure they're, they're hit the right tone and and the urgency and everything. And I don't know how many characters. <laughs> it's, like, it's gonna be much tougher than the email assignment, <laughs> it's like, but it's completely doable, but it will require a team effort. Awesome. Okay, Alexander, what are you saying? Interested in helping improve? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Um, I'll let you know when when we're kick off, kick off kicking that off um, again. Like it will uh, probably take a little, a few more um, weeks, but yeah, I'm excited about that one. So okay, that'd be a great project. Uh, really valuable. Yes, yes, yes. yes it does need help. We, uh, 
uh, slightly off topic, but just before we all disappear, um, I'm leaving CloudReach uh, at the end of the year, um, oh. moving on to Pastures New. Um, I'm going to try and rope somebody else in from CloudReach so that we still have kind of a, a foothold in with the CNCF. That's OK. okay. Um, I yeah. think, uh, Catherine, you've spoken to my colleague Miriam before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's part of the uh, glossary. Yeah, with the translation oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, so she's a bit more free now and uh, she doesn't know it yet, but she's uh, she's going to inherit this, I think. Um, I'm going to have a chat with her on Friday. So um, if I don't speak to you all before then, um, I will probably still try and keep in touch um, with new company, but um, please be kind to Miriam uh, when she when she arrives. Um, course rich <laughs> um, I, I just yeah. wanted to preempt it and uh yeah so so if if i'm not there um that's why Marion's there yeah uh are you going to be able to continue because it's like that's not necessarily linked to your job of course yeah I'm, I'm hoping still... to i'm i'm hoping to um i'm going to a fintech company um small startup -y thing so uh, it'll be a slightly different change of pace for me so uh i'm hoping uh less demanding customers and perhaps uh just <laughs> try and focus on uh some of the stuff that i'm actually really passionate about so uh so yeah well first of all congrats Thank i you. assume that's something you want it right <laughs> yeah yeah congrats con congrats man <laughs> Yeah, but like if, yeah, yeah, sorry to hear that you don't know yet if you're like, we hope you can still make it. And if not, if you need a little break, yeah, sometimes yeah, I'll, it's kind of hard, right? Because you need to focus. Exactly and hopefully you that. can. But um, I expect to see me reappear at some point. Okay. If, uh, That's awesome. Not immediately. Okay. okay. Cool. Cool. Right. Well, thanks, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye, bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Thanks, thanks everyone. See you. Bye. 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 -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.